Go on, look, and you'll definitely see Kellum's best stats really do stand out. In short, that massive base defense growth. This is absolutely insane as far as the characters in this game go, and that's just the base growth. This pretty much ensures that no matter what class he's in, Kellum will always have fantastically high defense. So yeah, Kellum is all about being a tank. While, as an Armor Knight, his main stats specialize in HP, Strength, and Defense, obviously, his base growth in skill and speed are actually pretty good by the standards of his class. He does, of course, have a minus two speed cap, though. But, yeah. His plus one caps to Strength and Skill are decent, as well as his pretty big plus three to Defense. And his base resistance growth is actually pretty good by the standards of an Armor Knight, mainly because we've actually seen a lot of characters before who had lower, and Armor Knights are supposed to have terrible resistance. Then again, his base resistance in terms of the raw base stat is actually very, very low, so it'll take a while for his resistance to actually be decent, but uh, with an okay growth and a non-negative cap in that area, he's actually not that bad as a magical tank, really. Kellum's main flaw overall is his luck. Not only does he have a terrible base stat in luck, but his luck growth is probably one of the lowest in this game. Yeah, 35 being low it really shows just how high luck growths are overall in this game. But he also has a minus 2 cap in that area, so luck is pretty much Kellum's main weakness. Really though, it's not like he has much need for it. I mean, in his class, he doesn't want to dodge all that much because he has massive defense, he can take hits anyway. And, again, the other effect of luck, negating criticals, isn't that big a deal for him either because he's very, very likely to survive a critical from anything that isn't magic or an armor killing weapon. So, in short, Kellum is actually really decent, and you'll see with his class options that that massive base defense growth really, really helps, making him actually very dangerous. So what class options does he even have? Well, obviously he has the Armor Knight branch, and he has a uh, unique orange armor uh, in his battle model in that class. Interesting. But as an Armor Knight, he gets the indoor fighter skill, which is alright, I guess a bit of extra evasion may help, but again, it's not like he really needs that anyway. It's mainly the skills to come from the promoted classes. Kellum definitely makes one of the best generals in the game with his massive defense growth and really good defense cap, so he'll be able to tank with the best of them like that. And he'll also gain rally defense to let everyone else near him tank with the best of them. And Pavis to, well, it's kind of overkill on Kellum, honestly. He doesn't exactly need it, but it's nice to have. As a great knight, though, Kellum will sacrifice a bit of strength and defense for a lot more movement and a little bit of skill and speed. Personally, I kind of prefer him as a general because I prefer people like Stahl and Frederick as great knights. But in the great knight class, Kellum can gain two very useful skills. Lunar is always good as far as an attacking skill goes, and Jewel Guard Plus is very, very useful for Kellum because with his massive defense, he's going to have a really high rate of Jewel Guards anyway, so definitely good to boost that further. Kellum is one of the best characters in the entire game at Jewel Guarding. So, Kellum's second class option is... Thief? Really? Uh, yeah, they're referencing the fact that Kellum's usually so unnoticeable he's practically a ninja, but... Does someone who starts out as a pretty much THE archetypal Mighty Glacier class make for a good fragile speedster? The answer is... No and yes. No, he doesn't become a fragile speedster. Yes, he becomes so much more than that. Due to Kellum's base growths, as a thief, Kellum's growths are utterly ridiculous. Seriously, I implore you all to go and look them up now. You will probably explode when you see how good his thief growth rates are. Let's just say that every single physical user ever would kill for Kellum's thief growth rates. Basically, he still has ridiculously good skill and speed growths, but he still has like over 60 strength and 60 defense. Yes, that's right, 60 defense growth on a thief. That sounds too good to be true, but yes, yes, it is true. 60% defense growth on a thief. Wow. So later in the game, though, his caps will kind of hurt his ability to do well as a thief by lowering his speed. But 
really? Before he caps all his stats, Caleb as a thief is utterly ridiculous, and I highly uh, recommend that you try it out, because seriously, if you want someone who can pick locks but also not die to a faint breeze, Caleb more than succeeds at that. Speaking of picking locks, you can pick up the lock touch skill as a thief, and it's going to be pretty useful, because like I said in Vague's entry, Lock Touch is always a very useful skill to have on at least one of your party members at all times. You never know when you'll find treasure chests. And yes, Kellum can keep this skill going into uh, into general, so um, yeah, having a giant heavy armoured guy going around opening chests. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Then again, I mean, with his lower movement and armoured classes, it's not exactly the best to make him a dedicated lock picker, but still, he does well offensively as a thief. Speaking of low movement though, the thief class has a skill that helps that, movement plus one. This is immensely useful for Kellum because the main downside of the armor knight class is terrible movement. Movement plus one helps fix that, roughly putting his movement on par with uh, your average non-armored class. And that's very, very useful and a huge benefit. Out of his other class options, Assassin will make Kellum's growths go even more insane. Seriously, the Assassin class in this game is just downright ridiculous in terms of the growths it provides and the good skills. Because yes, it provides lethality. So, uh, instant death general. Someone who can pretty much tank any hit you just out of them, and have a chance of dealing instant death back. Amazing. And also pass. A giant armoured guy who can move through enemies like they were nothing. Also amazing. And again, helps with the movement issues of the General and Armor Knight classes. Now, his other option from this branch is... Trickster. I really wouldn't recommend this class, because Kellum makes a pretty bad magic user. This is a class that's a bit of another hybrid one. It uses both swords and magic staves for healing. I, again, would not recommend this for Kellum. But the skills he learns there could be alright. Lucky 7 is pretty decent, and like I keep saying, I still think it's better than Quick Burn and Slow Burn. But the main use of this is Acrobat. Yeah, having someone in giant armor being able to walk on water. Hilarious, but also extremely deadly. And his last class option is... Uh, really? Priest? Really? Yeah, this is a very odd option for Kellum, and I'm not really sure it's going to be that useful for him overall. I mean, heal touch is not going to be that great since Kellum will always have terrible magic, so he's not going to be healing all that well. And none of his other class options have access to healing staves, or at least, no class that Kellum really wants to be in has access to healing staves. Likewise, Miracle. Survive a lethal blow with 1 HP. Does Kellum really need that? I mean, he's good at surviving as it is. Even as a priest, his defense growth is so ridiculous that he can pretty much tank hits like an armored character. As a sage, you know, honestly, I really see almost zero point to ever making Kellum a sage. Even the skills he learns out of the class are not that good. Tome Fair, the only time this will work is when he's a sage, and Kellum makes a really terrible sage because he'll only have a 30% magic growth. That's really, really bad for a sage. Rally Magic, eh, I guess it's alright. He learns three rally skills overall, but, uh,. There are better uses of the skill. Honestly, I see almost no point in ever making Kellum a Sage. Now, War Monk is somewhat interesting. Kellum is actually not that bad at this class. He'll have decent growths in, in strength and defense, so as far as having a War Monk who can actually do decent damage with axes is concerned, Kellum is actually one of the best out there. He'll also gain the Renewal skill in this class, which is definitely handy. Yeah. Think uh, Blissey with leftovers in Pokemon, except with amazing stats in both defenses, generally. Yeah, Renewal is a very, very good skill for Kellum, let's just say. So overall, Kellum is one of the best generals in the game, and surprisingly also one of the best thieves and assassins in the game. But he's also one of the worst sages in the game. Kellum is voiced by Orion Akaba. He's relatively new to voice acting in general, but he's done quite a lot of roles in video games lately, and he actually has a surprising amount of range, because the main thing that he's known for currently is playing Apollo Justice in Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. And if you know the Ace Attorney series, you'll know that Apollo Justice is almost literally the exact opposite of Kellum. Incredibly loud and incredibly noticeable. So, uh, serious props to him for being able to pull off that kind of range. 
He also voices Jonathan in Shin Megami Tensei 4, who I guess is a bit more similar to Kellum overall, being a more laid-back nice guy. 